Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This video is gonna be all about how to conceal carry at a holiday party. I'll be pairing different holsters with different kinds of outfits so you can see how easy it is to still be able to carry while being fancy. Uh, so yeah, I have several different outfits I'm gonna try on for you guys, so let's just jump into it. This first outfit I picked out is for someone who doesn't necessarily love dresses, but does want to be a little bit more dressy for, you know, an uh, evening out or some kind of party. This shirt is actually from the thrift store, but it is a Target brand. I think it's uh, Isaac Mizrahi. Um, it's kind of silky and flowy, and so it's good for if you're eating, you know, all that yummy holiday food, you have room to breathe in this shirt. I'm just wearing regular black dress pants for this shirt. They're kind of baggier, looser in the legs. So these pants don't have any belt loops. I can't wear a belt with these. So I paired these pants with my Undertech undercover concealment shorts. So I have those on underneath and I am wearing those with my Ruger LCR in the back. So there you go. That's how that looks. You really can't see it at all with this shirt down because like I said, the shirt is a little bit flowy. And I think the bow kind of distracts away from it also. So that's what I've got for outfit number one. That's for the person who wants to be dressy, but not too dressy. And I will be right back with outfit number two. All right, outfit number two is a little bit dressier and I've got two different ways that you can carry while wearing an outfit like this. So for this look, I pulled out a skirt and this one is really flowy and a really pretty red, perfect for Christmas. Um, I'm just wearing a black sweater with this that I have tucked in. So the first way of concealing that I'm going to show you with this outfit is by using a thigh holster. This one is from Can Can Concealment. I just got it recently and I haven't actually worn it out yet. I've just been kind of playing with it with different outfits and just so you know, I'm wearing this on the wrong leg. I would typically wear it over here. But when I was uh, putting my tights on, I actually ripped them all the way up like this and I didn't want to show it in camera. So I put the holster on this leg instead. But yeah, typically if you're right-handed, you would wear it on your left side. So you would draw like this. This is the perfect kind of thing that you could wear with skirts or dresses. Uh, I will say that they do sell on the website uh, actual, I think it's called a garter, but I'm not sure, a garter belt, one of the things that kind of goes around here, and then it has clips that goes down to the holster, and that helps hold it, because while I'm wearing this with tights, it does slide. When I walked from my bedroom into this room, it literally slid down my leg. So I've got it pulled on really high and tight right now, so it doesn't fall down, but I would recommend getting the belt Thing that goes along with this it's a different price I think this I'm guessing here I think this might have been about $40 and the belt is I think another $30 and I wanted to buy the holster first to see how it worked on its own but I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the belt to go with it because this this isn't okay if it's gonna be sliding down your leg but it does seem to work well enough if you're wearing it without tights I don't know if you can see that but the back of this has this uh, sticky band on it and it actually sticks to your skin quite well so if you don't normally wear tights you could probably get away with just getting the holster so that is the first way you can conceal with an outfit like this and because this skirt doesn't have belt loops there's no way to really secure a holster again I went with the concealment shorts underneath this so it's just like with the last outfit I'm wearing the shorts under the skirt and the gun tucks right in there so there, that's how it looks. You can even tuck your shirt over top of it. Um, you would just have to, you know, pull your shirt out if you needed it. But yeah, it hides really well and you can't tell that I am carrying anything. So that's it for outfit number two. This is a fun and easy look that you can switch up and wear any way you want, any skirt or shirt. Um, having these concealment shorts does help a lot when you don't have belt loops. And having something like this, some kind of thigh holster, helps a lot. Also, if you're wearing a long skirt, you could probably wear an ankle holster. I don't own one yet. I will be getting one though. But these are just two ways that you could carry while wearing a skirt. All right, outfit number three is causing me some serious problems. But I want my videos to be extremely realistic and I want to be able to show all the different situations where you can carry and where sometimes you just can't carry 
on your person and then the issues that come from that as well. All right, so this outfit is a sweater dress. Uh, it's actually something I did wear to a holiday party a couple years ago. This dress is pretty short, so I wore leggings under it the last time I wore it. That's how I would wear it now. If I were to wear it again, I would definitely have uh, something underneath. But because of how short it is, I wasn't able to put the thigh holster on and have it be concealed. The thigh holster comes down too low. This dress is too short for that holster. I did try it with the concealment shorts. I'm wearing it right now with those on. So you'd have to keep in mind that if you wanted to draw this in public, you would have to lift your dress up, uh, which I don't love the idea of, but at least these shorts are really dark black. And like I said, I've got leggings on underneath, so it's not like you're seeing anything. Um, but this prints, as small as this gun is, even with these shorts, I think it prints. You can still see it right there and I'm not happy about that. So in my opinion, this isn't a great outfit to wear if you're trying to conceal, but if you really have your heart set on something like this that's shorter and tighter and you're just not gonna be able to conceal under your clothes, there is the purse option. Uh, this is not a conceal carry bag, it's just a regular purse, but it is a crossbody purse, which I would recommend if you're gonna go with carrying in your purse it's a way to keep it more secure on your body. Um, it's not as easy for someone to just run up on you and snatch because you definitely don't want somebody to steal your purse with a gun in it. There definitely are drawbacks to carrying in a purse. If you choose to go this route, you have to keep it on you at all times. There is never an instance where you should put it down and walk away from it. Also, when carrying in a purse, I would highly recommend keeping your firearm in some sort of holster while it's in here to protect the trigger. You don't want this thing going off by accident. So, so far, this is the only solution I've come up with to be able to wear an outfit like this. I'd love for my channel to be all about spreading the knowledge. So if you know of better ways to deal with this, please leave that information down below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, that is outfit number three. Uh, some people might not think that this one counts, but I do want to be able to show purse carry as well if anyone wants to use that as an option and to pose the question of how would you carry with this outfit. And I will be back with outfit number four. All right, for this one, we've got another dress. This one is a bit looser than the sweater dress I just had on. So I think it's a little easier to conceal in this dress than the other one. I have the gun in the under tech concealment shorts in this one. But I think because this dress is looser, it's not so tight back there, that it's much easier to conceal. Uh, you could also wear a sweater or a shawl or something over top of this. That would help out a lot as well. This dress is also long enough to where you could wear the uh, thigh holster underneath of it and it doesn't show. The other dress was just way too short. So here's what that looks like. I have the gun back here still, but there it is with a holster. So you could totally get away with wearing it like that with a dress that's this length. I would suggest taking your holsters with you when you go shopping for your holiday outfit so you can try them on and see how they look with all the different outfits. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope y'all found this helpful in some way. I know trying to conceal in fancy clothes might be a little bit harder than your regular like jeans and sweatshirts and stuff. But for the most part, there is a way to do it. You just sometimes got to get a little creative with it. Uh, if there's any other outfit ideas or holsters you'd like me to try out, let me know down below. I'd be happy to do that for you. And I hope y'all have a great holiday season. Bye.